these expressions, and if you think about it very carefully, and its meaning in parenting and how people grow up, a lot of times they say, don't cry over spilled milk. How does that relate to you as a parent when you say that to a child? I'm not big on these expressions for kids. Um, when a kid hears an expression like that, obviously the child is very disappointed about something and the parent feels it's not important. And they'll say to him, don't cry over spilt milk, meaning it's not a big deal, it happened, let's go on. I always encourage parents to say that in words, to just to say to a child, they don't, they don't have the abstract ability to understand that. That can be taken by a child as somewhat of a put down. You know, you're talking above them. So yes, you discuss with them how they're getting upset about something, just like they did last week, that they're not upset about today. I always use that in the sense that you could fail. Don't live in the word of failure, but what you can do, say, learn from it, then it's an opportunity to improve your skill or whatever went wrong. Is that correct? Well, very correct, and it's funny you're saying that because I just read a study just yesterday that they did in France on several groups of children and what they did was they gave them the same lessons only one group was told that it, this is very difficult material you're often going to have failure when you start you're going to have a lot of trouble getting it the other group was told uh, kind of the indication that this is something they should be able to master quickly after a year of study they found the kids who were told it's okay to fail it's even normal to be expected even though match for IQ did far better on the test so the, what we, the theory here is that you created an anxiety in the children whenever you don't you give them the idea that failure is a part of learning.